Okay, guys, for this lesson, uh, we're going to be um, turning in our references a little bit differently. Normally, you just send me a link on a Google form, right? Um, but for this one, uh, we're going to be creating our own image by combining images that we find on the internet. All right, so uh, first, we're going to need our subject of our uh, image or our reference. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose Detective Pikachu. Um, so make sure when you uh, are searching up your subject, you put in transparent, because um, if you don't put in transparent, uh, you're not going to be able to use this image, right? You're not, uh, it's going to have a background most likely, and that background is going to kind of get in the way. So um, make sure you search uh, your subject. So you can search like SpongeBob, you can search uh, Homer Simpson, et cetera, et cetera, but make sure you add transparent, okay? Uh, you still want to have uh, your image at size large, or at least medium in this case, okay? Um, you're gonna find your image and you're going to copy it. So sometimes these images uh, have these like checkered backgrounds. You may not be able to use those. So you're gonna have to look around, all right? So for example, if I use this one, I'm gonna press copy image, right? Um, and go to this painted collage template. This template should be available on your Google Classroom assignment for this specific assignment titled Painted Collage. And then you're gonna paste it. Okay, if you notice here, it still pasted this like checkered background. So I can't use that. Um, if I look around though, uh, I can probably find another one. I'm gonna try this one out now and see how this one does not have a checkered background, right? That means this image has no background. So this is gonna work. Uh, then I'm going to find a background, a place that I want him to exist in, or her, I don't know, Pikachu's gender. Uh, and then I'm gonna place it here, okay? I'm going to uh, Alt and click, go to, uh, to get this window, press order or mouse over order, and send to back. That's gonna put this Pikachu in front of it. All right, so at this point, you'll notice that this Pikachu, right? Like it doesn't have that checkered background and it kind of looks like it could fit in this image. So what I'm gonna do is uh, make it so that this, uh, so that Pikachu fits into the setting. So he's pretty small, right? I'm gonna make it so that he sits on top of the table and he's going to be like kind of, I want him to kind of be looking at the mic, right? Like he's gonna talk on the mic. All right. Um, so now you'll see that this kind of like makes sense now, right? He's he's sitting next to this microphone. He's sitting on top of this table. He's not floating like that. He's not like floating down here. It looks like he's firmly standing on the table. All right. Um, so if you notice, this picture does not fit the size of this um, like slide that I have here, right? This slide is actually the size of your paper that you're gonna be painting on. So you need to make it fit. The way you're gonna do that without making it look all wonky, right? So if I grab it from the top and then shrink it down, it's going to look like it's got squished. So I'm gonna undo that. If I grab it from the side and I make it smaller, it's gonna make it look squished. The opposite's gonna to happen too. If I just pull it down to make it fit, it's gonna make everything look a little stretched. So what I'm gonna do instead is drag this square to select everything, grab it by the corner and drag it out so that it fits the size, okay? Um, now you can go to, if you wanna know what it's gonna look like on your paper, go to view and then go to uh, show film strip. And then this box over here, you can see what, your, uh, what it's gonna be printed out as, right? Like how that picture is gonna look there, okay? So this is actually fine, I could do this but I actually found, uh, did this uh, earlier, right? And I think I prefer this one, okay? You can always play with it. You can move Pikachu more over here. You can actually like make um, everything bigger to like make him fit, uh, make the background like a little more zoomed in, you know? So yeah, play with it, get the picture that you want. Uh, and you know that's that's what you're going to be painting. Whatever you see here, that's the composition. This is the reference that you're going to be using. All right. 
So that's how you're going to make your reference. Just uh, I'll print it out from your Google Classroom assignment as long as you have this done. All right. Again, requirements. Your subject has to have a transparent background. He, ne he or she needs to be sitting on, uh, like sitting in the background correctly. They can't just be floating. And your image has to fit the entire paper. Okay. Those are the requirements for your painting or for your reference image.